Because the most expensive way this is going to get is if you spend three weeks on something and you are wrong to begin with. If you didn't understand the words that they used to begin with, if you've interpreted it wrong. So you know when you ask clients what they want something to look like and they give you this coded language, words like exciting, clean, and bold. What the hell do those words even mean? In this video, Matthew showcases how to break down one of these vague words. Okay, Ben. Minimal to you, what does that mean? So minimal, um, clean, lots of white space, usually very organized mm -hmm. in terms of the visual language, almost stark, and that's all I had time for. And then do any colors come to mind when you think of minimal? Honestly, white and black were like the white first thing that comes into mind. And then what about typography? If you're imagining a typeface or a set of typefaces that might be appropriate for minimal, what does that look like to you? Sans serif, thin, completely unornamented, like no flourishes, simple. Would Helvetica or Univer be an example of that? Yeah, yeah, depending on use. So like Helvetica um, bold, that's like tracked really close or kerned really close, that's not gonna be minimal in my head. Okay, so spaced out, tracked out is okay. And then earlier you said white space. In white space, does that literally mean the color white or do you mean more like negative space? The negative space around elements, having lots of air in between each vis visual element. And then for minimal, I know you said colors white and black, but do any textures or material come to mind when you think of minimal that might be appropriate for you? No, not really. Um, at the most, maybe like a, like a linen or a cotton texture. That's very simple. Um, and the tones, like not a lot of contrast. All right, I want to stop there. Thank you so much, Ben. I think that was fantastic because I was assuming that, Ben, you're going to give me everything and then we're just going to be in agreement, nodding uh, in our head. And I think we're pretty close in terms of what we mean for minimal, but you could see from my line of questioning, I'm trying to understand. He gave me a few words to work with and I'm trying to ask one thing at a time. He said stark. So what does that mean? Negative space, what does that mean? And I started asking about other things that he didn't mention at all, like color, uh, materials, uh, typefaces. So when you're on these calls and when you're talking to clients, it's important to understand what it is that they mean. And they might not have the right language. You might not be working with an, another designer like Ben. You might be working with somebody with very limited language and you might need to use things like popular reference, or you might need to go back to the drawing board and pull a few references to confirm if you guys are on the same page. So sometimes what I might do um, really quickly is put together a stylescape or a mood board. I'll just pull together like five images. It's like, you know, on the call you said minimal and we were having a hard time articulating what it means. Um, I pulled a few of these together. Do any of these look right? And then if so, let's talk about them. What about these elements that we see means minimal to you? And what doesn't sound minimal to you? So I'm just using these as a gut check. And this whole time, I know it sounds like it could be a little pestering, but it's really not because you're trying to show that one, you're listening, you understand, and you're doing all the hard, heavy lifting before you spend all of their money making something. Because the most expensive way this is going to get is if you spend three weeks on something and you are wrong to begin with. If you didn't understand the words that they used to begin with, if you've interpreted it wrong. So that is way more expensive than just spending the time up front to clarify language, ask questions until it's clear and you know what to do with it. I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know if you have any questions by leaving us a comment and we'll do our best to answer them. If you're interested in learning more about working with clients and managing your team, I have two resources I've made to help you out. The Practical Project Management Course and the Pitch Kit. I'll leave links to them down below for you to learn more. The full recording of this video is also available there. That's it for us. We'll see you in the future.